Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy, and I'm a flow state coach, which means that I help you feel better and perform better. Today, we're talking about the concept of real freedom. Let's get it. Yeah. I'm inspired. I'm inspired. What kind of world do you envision and imagine when you think of a utopia? Because you're going to have to figure out that paradise consciousness for yourself. What does it mean to have heaven on earth? It's really important for you to not get caught up in the world's dogmas and conditioning and all the things that people are telling you. It, like, it's not up to the government to give you your dream life. It's not up to other people to give you your dream life. It starts from within and it starts from a decision. You see, we use our thoughts and our feelings, our mind and our heart in order to feel and create in this world but both of those have a very very crisp quality to it in order to make it more dense condense it we've got to actually work with our physical bodies when the physical body is working with the emotional body and the spiritual body all together your life starts to transform when we think of freedom we think of something that is unlimited something infinite, like we can't really grasp it, this idea of freedom. And you've been sold a false datum about freedom. Wasn't it Jocko Willink who said discipline is freedom? Do you guys get that concept? That if you actually have complete freedom, there's chaos associated with that. So how can you organize the chaos? Every chaos has an underlying order underneath that chaos. Start to understand that when you're thinking of freedom, it's a paradox because you're also thinking about this idea of restriction. Now restriction doesn't have to be a bad thing. Right? We think of restriction as a bad thing, but it's not really that we're restricting it, it's aligning with our values, right? So what things in your life would you like to desire that align with your most highest values in your highest timeline? If you're in a monastery or a temple, they, they give you restrictions. You can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this, right? But within that, there is such a freedom to that because they don't have to worry about those things anymore. They start to cultivate their consciousness, right? They're, they're demonstrating the boundaries. So a one part of us that is boundless, infinite, of course, but we are the ones setting the boundaries. You've heard it before, you're setting the limits on your own mind. The three things that you need, my friend, are mindset, focus, and consistency. Those are the three keys that you need. Okay? Mindset, focus, and consistency. Everything else is just white noise. Okay? It's just noise. It's not melody. It's not music. But you as the walking alchemist of this earth, you have this ability to make music out of the noise. It's time for a timeline change. It's time for a frequency upgrade. Today I host my event, Writing Reality. Three days where we take you into a quantum transformational chamber where you leap into the character that you truly prefer to be and embody. Not a lot of us are giving us these character codes in order for us to actually change our personalities because a lot of our lives, our personalities have just been our survival strategy. It hasn't been something that has been moving us forward in a direction that we truly choose. Start to understand that your freedom means that you are a walking dimension. You have a specific world. We talk about our beliefs being our worldviews, right? What are your beliefs about the world? Your worldviews, the way you see the world. 
Do you think that the world is a friendly place or a hostile place, as Einstein says? Because that's going to dictate your reality. That's going to dictate the script, the movie script, the genre that you're playing in this role, in this temporary existence. Really start to ask yourself the most important questions. Who am I? Where am I? What is my soul? What am I really about? What is my passion? What are my strengths? How can I cultivate these strengths in a healthy manner? You see, someone in a relationship, they might be thinking of the concept of freedom. Where, oh, I sleep with everybody. I, I, it's not a relationship, my friend, okay? Now, if you're sleeping with multiple people and you're speaking about it and you're honest about it and you're open about it, that's a different paradigm. It's a different frequency, right? One paradigm is I'm gonna lie and cheat and hide and it's more of a scarcity where you're saying this is all mine it's only about me okay i'm going to protect what's mine and you get into this mentality of loss like i can lose these people i can lose them no actually from certain people you have everything to gain because they have a dimension they're a walking portal just like you so you can learn things from them Sometimes people have a direct lasso to our hearts, right? They have a direct connection to our hearts and they keep pulling it and keep pulling it. But we are allowed to not play tug of war with it, but wear it as, as an accessory, as a piece of jewelry, that rope. We have an ability to do that. No, I'm not connected to this person anymore. I'm connected to myself and this emblem this locket this symbol that I'm keeping with me is my connection to their spirit so this creative control this blending of both hemispheres is really what makes your journey amazing it makes your journey unstoppable If you want real freedom, you first of all have to look at the word itself, real. You have to get real. Because people who talk like they're free and think that they're free and are showing the world that they're free but they're really confined and trapped from within, that's not real freedom. You see what I'm saying? That's a demonstration of freedom but a feeling of lack. So real freedom is this ability to be free from the mind. From the mind telling you stories, from the mind limiting you, from the mind giving you orders. That's the freedom I'm talking about. That's real freedom. You've been liberated from this data computation software. But there's a reason they call it our temples. Because there is a God within our pineal. Okay? The brain is God. So don't be scared of it. Running old scripts. Keeping you in one lane. It is not one lane. It is the lane that you have decided. There was a root cause to your pattern. So you might be saying, why does this always happen to me? Or why do I fall for the same people? Or what happens when... There's a single invisible thread of trauma goggles associated to that. I mean, think about it. When people start to overreact to something, it's probably that pain body, the charge of that trauma that's lived through that overreaction and that experience. Because emotions are a signal. If we're getting overly angry about something that we don't know what it is, we got to really observe that, right? Maybe someone's treating someone like crap and you see that and you get really angry. Why do you get angry? It's in your values. Maybe you were treated like crap, right? So you're still personalizing it and you're, you're seeming like it's righteous, but, but again, right? It's linked to this reaction mentality from within, like, oh. 
again, it's a survival strategy, right? That's the best that we knew at that time. That's the best that we could afford to do. We have pseudo vibrations. Pseudo vibrations are things that make us feel good in the moment, but they're not truly high vibrational. You know, it's like uh, going in the route of only drugs, 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 until you feel brain dead, okay? That's a pseudo vibration, a pseudo excitement, a fake version of a high vibrational energy, right? That you're giving your system. It's the same thing with talking like you're free, but you're not really free. So real freedom is saying no to something. Real freedom is saying, hey, that doesn't serve me anymore. Real freedom means that you can change up your journey on the drop of a hat. Because truly, you are in this form, but you are formless. But why not use our form to create, to transform? The trance, the hypnosis, form, to transform. So this transformation, this brainwashing, can either go in the negative or the positive, but you decide. How do you protect yourself from the brainwashing? You become really, really good at discerning real from fake. You live through your heart and your mind, your intellect and your emotions. What's the healthiest expression of that? So if you can tune into this Real Freedom FM radio station from within, just tap into that frequency today. It'll feel the, the emanation from that abundance as it seeps through your pores and skin and makes you feel unstoppable and makes you feel magnetic inside, so real that it can transcend everything, that it has the crystal cut shape of a diamond in your mind, that rebellious attitude, that ripple effect that causes a massive shift, a transformation. So here we go with our days. We are the upward spiral gang and we are here to create our dynasty, our empire, our kingdoms. Here we go. May we never be the same again.